I am ashamed and embarrassed. How you can abandon our one and only child in a sick bed in the United States to come home just to assume the position of the first lady. But Chris, I did not abandon our child in the hospital. I left him under the care of Christiane and my personal doctor. Oh, and you are proud to say it. You are proud to say that you left our child in the hands of strangers. Hey, come on! Come on, Chris. My elder sister and my personal doctor are no strangers. Oh, I see. Okay. But... Tell me one thing, Chris. Why are you so upset and uncomfortable with my homecoming? Oh no, the reverse is the question. Why did you abandon our only child in the faraway land of the United States to come back home to assume the office of the First Lady? That, my dear, is the question. Chris, don't be unreasonable and selfish. Come on. I've lost that child for over two years now since you assumed the position of the first citizen of the state. Why must I remain away throughout your tenure as the first citizen of the state? That, my dear, is the million dollar question that you must answer. To be a mother or to be a first lady? So what? You've, you've, you've nursed our child for two and a half years. Brenda, my little angel, you give me so much joy and comfort like no other woman can. I wish you'd be mine forever. I'll always be yours as long as you're mine. I find so much comfort in your arms, Chris. And I'll make you comfortable for the rest of your life. Okay, but you have to remain faithful to me. You must be faithful to me. What about your wife? First lady, I had she's back. What happens to me now? Brenda, you are my little angel. And no one can take you away from me. Not even my wife. What if she comes to know? You know, this relationship is more than a year, and it's bound to leak. She won't find out. She won't. Let's just keep it low, all right? As secret as possible, all right? From what I gathered, I heard she's tough and bound to raise hell if she knows about this relationship. Brenda, don't worry about my wife. She won't find out, okay? Just forget about my wife. Mm -hmm. So are you telling me that Brenda has not come up to now? Harry, I have told you she hasn't. Maybe she's gone to read in the academic area, so why don't you go and check there? We've gone there. We've checked everywhere. She's nowhere to be found. Then maybe you should check back tomorrow morning then. And you guys, I really, really need to go to bed now. See you guys tomorrow, okay? Night, night. Thanks. Good, Good night. night. But, for God's sake, where can she be now? Are you coming from at this time of the night? And who are those men that dropped you off? Too many questions, Harry. One question at a time. Answer my question. Where are you coming from? And who are those men? Okay, okay. 
I went home. I'm just coming from home. Those men, they are my father's friends. Lie! That's a big lie! Because I went to your house several times today and you were not at home. And how can you tell me those, those thugs that brought you here are your father's friends? What's up with you, Harry? Okay, you go about looking for me as if I'm lost or something. Don't you have anything to do other than you following me about? Come on, grow up. Shut up. Uh, are you mad? Take it easy. Huh? Uh. How dare you talk to me like that? Come on, Harry. You have to take things easy, okay? Harry, you will dare raise your filthy hands on me, right? Brenda! Brenda, come back here! His answers. Hello. Hello, please. Can I be on to His Excellency? This is the First Lady, Mrs. U.K. Morgan. May I please know who's on the line? Jesus Christ. Hello? 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 haven't said anything to me about that girl who called this morning. Who is she? Who is she? Yes, who is she? She could be anybody. You know how it is. Anybody could have called me. My numbers are not a secret. You know who she is. Chris, she couldn't be anybody. I'm sure that girl is someone very close to you. I feel it deep in my bones. I mean, my mind tells me that. Well, your mind can tell you anything. That is for you to contend with. I don't know who she is. Chris. If she's anybody, why did she exclaim and cut off the line when she heard my identity? You tell me that. Like I said, that is for you to worry about. I don't know why she did it. Right now, I have a headache. And I'm going to bed. You're coming? I said to you that I'm, I'm always careless with my phone and now that my wife is around she can easily pick up my phone and check on my messages and my, take my calls but you wouldn't listen. What would I have done? I wanted to talk to you urgently. 
You could have called my ADC James or my PA or my bodyguards. That's what you used to do. Why did you change it? I'm sorry, sweetheart. There's nothing I tell my wife now that will make her change her mind. Now she believes that you're my girlfriend. And you gave yourself away when my wife picked up the phone and you cut off the phone. Now she knows you're my girlfriend. Now there's nothing that I say now that will make her stop. She's just raising hell. I said keep it low, Brenda. I told you to stay low. I'm sorry. I promise it won't happen again. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Just don't want her to raise hell, that's all. Honestly, Liz, I'm so very worried. again. Liz, I have finally realized why Morgan is so upset over my homecoming. Why? Men can be so unreasonable and heartless. Take it easy. Take it easy, Yuki. And be careful. No, Liz. No. I am going to make damn sure that I follow this thing to the very end. And when I do find out, Morgan, I am going to show you the meanest side of me for cheating on me all this while. I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. Believe what? Brenda is cheating on me. I'm dating the governor. Can you beat that? Why do you have to? Huh? The news is all over the campus. You seem to be the only one who've not had Harry. But Brenda and the governor. It doesn't make sense. What is it? Is it the money? Her father is a cabinet member of the state, a commissioner for what, for God's sakes. What does this girl want? <laughs> that is not enough. All right? The governor has mega bucks to spend. The commissioner ain't got no penny. So, all this money she's been doling around and the exotic cars she's been entering, man, are gifts from the governor, is it? What do you think, Harry? Exactly what do you think? Use your head and figure it out. I hate that man. I swear to you, I hate that man. I never liked him for once, Dr. Morgan. I hate him! This has just made matters worse, man. All right, just relax, okay? Easy, man. Don't take this too hard on this. Can you tell me not to take it hard? No, what are you saying here? Somebody thinks he can use his position to just destroy small girls. Are you telling me to take it easy? 
<laughs> if he thinks he's gonna do this on my girl, he has something coming up for him, man. I swear, I'm gonna use everything in my powers to expose that son of a bitch. Alright, fine. Just take it easy. Hey, peace. How far now? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. How far now? I've, I've been to your room and I was told I'll find you here, but where's Brenda? I've been looking all over for her. Brenda? I'm, yes! I thought you knew she traveled to Abuja yesterday for a wedding. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gosh, I forgot. All right, yeah, yeah, she told me. But I I didn't know it was yesterday. She's gone. Yeah. I, um, peace. You know what? Could we, like, see sometime today, maybe in the evening, after classes and all that? Um, maybe okay. we could just have a chat. Okay. That'll be fine. All right. So where would you be? Um, I'll be at... Say it's the other three, the three or the other three. Okay, time? 5 30, you're about. Is it okay? I'll meet you, I'll meet you then. Right. Okay. Thanks, sir. Alright, so. Thank you. Peace. You're Brenda's roommate and friend. Please, I'm asking you to just tell me the truth. Harry, Harry, why do you allow rumors to come into your relationship? Eh? Why? Peace, please. I know I can count on you, okay? You know now, Brenda and I have been through thick and thin together. I am begging you, please, just tell me the truth. <sighs> Harry, I have warned Brenda severally to stop the affair, but she wouldn't listen. I thought you knew because everybody on campus knows. No, how could I have known? How could I have known now? It's Harry now. There's no way I could, know, I could have known such a thing and just be quiet about it. Brenda is virtually a government house property. She and the governor are always seen around in government lodges at every other place. Damn! 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 See, relax, please. See, cars from the government house are always coming to pick her up and drop her back. The story is all over, man. I warned her, but she said I was jealous of her achievements. Hey, much. Look, please just check out this kind of disgrace now. Check this kind of embarrassment. On campus! That bastard is screwing the living daylights out of my baby's ass, man! Please, please, don't say I told you. Count yeah. me out. Please, just count me out. Thanks, thanks. See you later. Okay. Just take it easy, okay? Nancy. Yes, Your Excellency. I am prepared to do anything to find that girl out. I know what I have gone through with my husband. I can't just fold my arms and let some cheap opportunist take him away from me. But Your Excellency, how do you hope to go about this now? It might not be so easy because we don't even have the slightest idea or clue about her. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Nancy, I am prepared to do anything, and I mean it, anything. Your Excellency, I think I have an idea that will give us a lead. What is it? I suggest that we get one of His Excellency's special thugs and errand boys. That's if you will be willing to cooperate. Do you think they know? Definitely, Your Excellency. If they don't know, then nobody does. Sit down and feel comfortable. Thank you, ma'am. Dada, I have invited you here for a special deal. And I do hope you cooperate with me. Of course, there are a lot of benefits you derive from it. A deal with me, Your Excellency? Yes, a deal with you. And if you cooperate with me, your life will change instantly for good. Okay, what's the deal, madam? My husband is having an affair with 
a girl who I believe means a lot to him. I don't know who she is, but I know that you know who she is, being his special thorn and errand boy. This is impossible, madam. There is no such girl. Now, listen to me. You have the full information that I need, and I'm willing to pay you heavily for it. I don't know what you're talking about, madam. Young man, I'll pay you 200,000 Naira for the information. I have no such information, madam. 500,000 Naira then? Madam, I still don't know what you're talking about. I will prepare your travel papers to any city of your choice in the whole world to avoid any risk. Right? You just name it. And you'll be there. Expense free. Madam, this is a dangerous information you're asking for. I hope you understand. Besides, I told you there is nobody like that, no sort of girl like six. I, I don't know what you're talking about. One million naira then. Did you say one million, madam? One million naira and a trip to any city of your choice in the world to live in permanently. <laughs> In that case, I don't know how, where, and when do you want the information? I'm ready to give it to you. Of course, it shouldn't be here unless you want me to commit suicide. No problem, Dada. No problem at all. Um, this evening, 6 p.m., meet me at the Royal Hotels. I'll be waiting for you in the presidential suite. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you, madam. In that case, I should be expecting my one million naira in cash. Or check. You will get your one million in dollars cash. American dollars, madam. Thank you, madam. I'll be there. 6 p.m. I'll be there. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Congratulations on the death of your bodyguard. Didn't you hear me? I said, congratulations on the death of your bodyguard. You won't say anything now because you think you're very smart. But I want to tell you something. By exhibiting such ruthlessness, you're showing yourself to be, to be some sort of a, a demigod. So untouchable. But I want to assure you that the blood of people like Dada and the rest of them will weep for you. <laughs> I want you to know that Nemesis will catch up with you one day, very soon. You think I don't know what's going on? You think I don't know what's happening? I know what's going on. And I want you to know that I will definitely 
see this to the very end. And when I do, I will make life a living hell for you because you don't even know me. Truth is, I do know you. going to class? Yeah, I'm up for lectures. Alright, um, please. Mm -hmm. There were a couple of guys, two guys I just saw that came down. Uh-uh, Harry, you forget so soon now. Those are the government house talks. The same ones that came to drop Brenda off the other night. I thought as much. Really? You came to take her out? What else do you think? They even gave me a note to give to her, so if I get to class, I'll just give it to her. Can I see the note? No, no. Please, just... Okay. Now you have confirmed it, Abby. <laughs> this is just the chance I've been waiting for. What do you mean? And what chance are you talking about? Not to worry. Thanks a lot, okay? Have a nice class. Right, Please don't tell Brenda I came in. Okay? Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Hey, Jim, what's up, man? What's up, <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> you will not believe this. I went to Brenda's room and she was not around. Guess who I saw? Who? The government house dogs. Those ones that dropped her now, they were leaving. And I went to meet Peace. She said they gave her a note to give Brenda. Guess what the note says? The governor asked Brenda to meet him at Hama Hotels. <laughs> I'm a hotel. You serious? Yo, that Dr. Morgan doesn't know what stuff I'm made of, man. How? His ass is whooped. What are you up to, Harry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really understand, Harry. Tell me, bro, you Um, thank you. I'd like to book for a room in this hotel, preferably Executive Room 1. Executive Room 1.
I'm sorry, sir. Executive room one is on reserve. But you may have either room two or four, sir. No, no. Room two and four are not my favorites. When is your guest expected? Sometime tonight, sir. Then I guess it's possible I could have the room for a couple of hours. That's room one, I mean. See, I'm hosting a female friend. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid we don't do that here. It would be violating our hotel ethics. What's your name, young lady? Ada. Ada will be. Mm. That's a very lovely name, you know. Thank you. Ada, I just... Just for like two hours tops, okay? I'll pay you in full. Okay, sir. Since you said you'll be staying for two hours, okay? I'll let you have the room. But, sir, you must vacate as promised, please. That's no problem. That's no problem. Thank you very much. Um, sorry, Ada. Could I possibly go see the room and come back? And I'll pay you when I come down because I've not been there for quite some time now. All right? I hope the room is still good. Yes, you can be sure of that, sir. Our own facilities are about the best here in Victoria Island. That's yeah. good. The bear hope will take you there in a moment. Thank you. Okay, come over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take this man to executive room one and let him take a look. So let's go. I'm not entirely satisfied with what I'm seeing here. Okay, can I see the opposite room? Room two? Yes, room two. All right, uh, just give me one minute. Let me run downstairs and get the keys. All right, do that quickly.
the order? Hi. Can I have that um, room one again, please? That same room. Yes, please. Okay. Here. Thank you. Thanks. I have to handle this right. This is some dangerous stuff here. Yeah. But now how do we go about the rest? I have suddenly realized just how suicidal this whole setup could be. Mm, that does not bother me at all. I must see to the end of this thing. You know what I'm thinking? I will, I, will, I will process this film, make duplicates of it, maybe like two duplicates, okay? Just to be on the safe side. Now the problem is, who will duplicate the film? It's not just anybody, but one who will treat the job with strict confidence. Mm. I've actually thought of this guy, I don't know if you know him, uh, Benga. Sure. Benga appears to be 75% trustworthy. That's it. Then if we give this tip to Benga, he duplicates it. All right? I'll try and find a way to set up a meeting with the first lady. Strike a deal with her. You never can tell. This woman might want this thing. The problem is how to meet the first lady face to face. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. But I'm going to explore every avenue just to see the first lady. This is my fight. Hot boy. Oh my. oh my god, this is hot. <laughs> you know, you're sure the real pal, man. Yeah, <laughs> this man. is a hell of a great job. <laughs> Mega, thanks a lot, man. Okay. Yeah, this is a hit. We can't wait for this tonight. Wow, Mr. Mega. Yeah. Clean job. Yeah. <laughs> I can't thank you enough, man. I'm grateful. Anytime, any day. Thanks a lot. Alright, guys. Hey. Oh, <laughs> the yellow nigga. Oh, this is funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, man. I remember. Shit. I sure don't joke with this. Oh, you can't joke with this. You know, cool, what that I have to. Thanks, man. Hey. I appreciate it. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Yeah. yeah. We'll watch your back for you. So long, guys. Any day. So long. Anytime, any day. <laughs> it's not fun living in this way. So much bloodshed every day. Are you happy living in this way? Are you scared of what you say? Hello? Can I be on to the First Lady, Mrs. UK Morgan? This is the First Lady's ADC. Who are you and why do you want to speak to Her Excellency? Don't bother about the identity. Just hand over the phone to her. I have no time to waste. This is really important. You can't jump protocols. This is the First Lady's private line. Well, sorry for jumping protocol, okay? Just hand over the goddamn phone to the First Lady and tell her the man who knows everything about the husband's mistress want to have a word with her. Hello? This is the first lady on the line. Who are you? Don't bother about the identity, Your Excellency. But listen carefully now. Do you want to know everything about your husband's mistress? Yes, of course. Then I'm the man you're looking for. I'm the one who knows all about it. I also have a videotape of what she and your husband do in secret places. How, how did you come in contact with that? <laughs> no, no, madam. I think the question should be, how can you get it? 
Not how did I get it. Okay, so how do I get it then? Good. Just tell me where, when and how and I'll get it to you. You can come over to my office tomorrow morning by 10 a.m. I'll be expecting you if that's convenient for you. Sure it is. Okay, um, please, uh, what's your name, please? Uh, so that I can ask my security operatives, my aides, everybody to expect you. So that they can let you come in to see me. Your name. Don't bother about my name. For now, I shall be known and identified as the video man. That's brilliant, Harry. Hello? All right, send him in immediately. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, good afternoon. Let's sit down. Thank you, sir. Now, let's get it straight about this guy that has the governor's and Mr. Uh, videotape. Yes, I. I was in my office yesterday when this guy and his friend came to me with a videotape to dub. <laughs> Sir, it was while I was previewing the tape that I realized with a huge sense of shock that the tape contained the governor and a lady's love making act in a hotel room. Can you describe the girl and what she and the governor wore in the video too? They were practically naked under the bed sheet. This girl is, she's a young girl of about 20, fair. This is crazy. And the guys who said you don't know them? <laughs> Not from Adam, sir. Yesterday was my first time of meeting with them. Although, they know me quite all right because of my popularity in the movie world. Sir, I asked after their names. They said it wasn't necessary. In fact, I secretly wanted to dub one copy of the tape for the governor's attention. But these guys were on guard to see that nothing of such was done, sir. <sighs> Can you describe this guy and his friend? Yes, I can. I... This guy is tall, lanky. Um, he's a young guy. In fact, his friend is, is almost his height too. And the two of them are, they are young. Any other thing about these two guys that may be useful? Let me see. Uh, yes, sir. From their discussion, I gathered they are university students. Thank you, Mr. Benga. Oh. Uh, we may call you from time to time when you need advices. Hmm? Uh, yes, sir. I, I, I'm always available. Anytime, any day, sir. Uh, let me see if I can. Talk to the governor so you he will hear from you directly. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. I guess he may have something for you. Oh, <laughs> that will be fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Benga, uh, came to see someone? Oh yes, I, I came to see a friend. Good morning. Morning. Well, well, so long. Have a nice day.
Should I go back and inform the ADC that the video boy is here? He probably may have come to see the governor. Or maybe the first lady. Well, what's there to see the ADC about again? Already, I have struck my deal and made good money. It's no longer my business to tell them where to find the boys. Yeah. I'm out of here. So tell me about this girl who's going out with my husband. Honestly, madam, I'd rather you see the tape. Because I believe once you watch the tape, it will answer most of your questions. And how much will it cost me to get the videotape? $10,000. Come on, young man, that's too much. Do you know how much that is? I will pay you $3,000. Okay, madam. Because I know you're a very busy woman, I don't want to waste your time. Let's strike a balance here. $5,000, and that is my final price. Okay, so we we'll settle for five thousand dollars. When do I get the videotape? Or do you have it here? <laughs> no, of course not. I will deliver the tape to you as soon as I can confirm my five thousand dollars is in my account. It will not be paid into your account because I'm sure you'll disappear the moment the money is confirmed to be in your bank account. I want a face-to-face -face deal. That's good. That's good. All right, Your Excellency, just tell me where and when. Yeah. Um, I, I will be leaving for Abuja in another two hours to attend um, the conference of governor's wives. I will be back in, yeah, next week, Wednesday. So, um, let's fix it for 12 noon next week Thursday at the Grand Hotel. How about that? Fine by me. But how do I know your room number when I arrive at the hotel? You will have to call me on Wednesday night to find out. Meanwhile, my ADC, Nancy here, will give you 50,000 naira so that you can book a room for yourself when you get to the Grand Hotel. So when you call me on Wednesday night, you just let me know what room you'll be in. Perfect. Couldn't ask for a better arrangement. So good. Nancy here will go with you and give you the 50,000 Naira for your logistics. All right, Your Excellency, thank you. Do have a nice flight. Thank you. Permission to carry him on. Yeah, Nancy, and watch him closely. James, from the description of this, your videotape uh, editor, it is obvious that that recording was made during the last, uh, my last meeting with Brenda at the hotel. Yes, yes, yes. James, I want that boy found and dealt with. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Sir. That boy must be found and dealt with before that tape falls into the hands of my wife or anywhere dangerous. Yes, yes, yes. And that hotel, James, that hotel, everybody in that hotel must be investigated and dealt with for betraying my confidence in them. This tape falls into the hands of the opposition or my wife. He can spell doom for me and can get me out of this office. I understand, sir. We swing to action immediately, sir. Immediately means now, James. All right, sir. I want results, James. Right. 
Suleiman, this is ADC James from Government House. I need four of your boys for an urgent assignment. So please send them immediately to my office. Make sure, make sure you include an inspector among the four that will lead the team. Shut up! I need crack detective, not just policemen. Right. Now you must start your investigation at the hotel where the video covering was done. Yes, sir. Question the hotel manager and I arrest the receptionist who was on duty on the evening shift of the detail of this map. Yes, sir. And were you arrest her? Take her down to the government house police post and wait for me. This case can't be handled by any other police station outside here. You understand? Yes, sir. No problem, officer. All I need to do is to double into the duty roster and I know the receptionist that day. On the 13th, you said? Starting there of this month. Okay. Check who was on duty on the 13th. 13th evening, sir. yeah. That was the one, sir. Okay, that makes it nice. She's the one on duty that night. So you were the receptionist who was on duty on that day? Yes, sir. You have to call with her to the station for questioning. Questioning? What have I done, sir? Why are they arresting me, sir? Why? Nobody, nobody's arresting you. All they need is just to go through uh, the double into the case, the incident that happened on the evening of the 13th. You understand? That's all. They will release you. Don't be afraid. Go with them. I'm with you. Go with them. Come over. Huh? Young lady, you know Executive Room 1 is on the reserve for His Excellency. Why did you have to give her the room on short time? That is not what you think at all. The boy insisted on using the room, sir. Insisted it was his favorite. Then I finally agreed. <laughs> then he insisted on inspecting the room, sir. And I bear hope to keep there. Then he asked I bear hope to let him see you too. And I bear hope came down to the reception to pick the kids and leaving him upstairs. So in the end, he refused to check in and he left. So he didn't use the room at all? No, sir. So he didn't. He said he changed his mind. But one thing that made me suspect something about him that was the fact that he was the first guest to put for that same executive room one the next morning. You mean he booked for the same room the following morning? <laughs> yes, sir. But he didn't stay for 10 minutes and he paid in full. And 10 minutes after he checked it, he came back to the reception and submitted the keys back to me and promised to be back shortly, sir, but he never did. Something is interesting. Now, was it holding anything? Yes, sir. Each time he was with a briefcase. See. Now this guy, did he appear like someone who ordinary would want to stay in such accommodation? So if he asked me, I wouldn't say he looked to me the type to book for a seat of that class. 
At first, I felt suspicious, yes. But I couldn't make anything out of my suspicions. I had to let it go. I'm sure he was paying for it. I don't know, but he appeared to be a student. Now, I want a full description of this guy, how he looks, his age, his height. Everything you know about this guy, now! Sir, he's about six feet. In his, in his mid-twenties. Has a caramel skin color. A side bird and a mustache. Has a dark wavy hair. So I don't know. I don't know this man from Adam. I don't know him, sir. Now, tell me one thing, Frank. From the description of the governor's attire on that day in the alleged video, his SLC confirmed that the video coverage was done during his last vis visit to the hotel on the 13th. Yes, sir. Now, how these guys got to know about the governor's appointment schedule with Brenda on that same day still baffles me. me. Frank. Sir. I want you to think carefully and tell me whom you have told this to. I told this to nobody, sir. On your second, you sure he did not tell anyone? Yes, I can swear that he did not tell anybody, sir. Because we were in it together. And he also knows the implications. Alright, now tell me, what happened on that day? How did he go? On that day, we went to Brenda's room at the university campus to inform her. We met her roommate who told us that Brenda was not around. And so we dropped a note. So what was the content of the letter? The letter said that His Excellency wanted to see Brenda. What for what, my friend? I can still remember, sir. Brenda, you are to meet with His Excellency at the Executive Room 1 of the Yama Hotels, Victoria Island, on Failingly this evening at 6 p.m. Damn fool! Are you mad? Why did you have to do that? I... I Shut up! Now I know where things went wrong. I am deeply... Shut him up there! You must pay for this. Now get out of my office! Get out of my office! the girl. Randa's roommate. Inspector Adams, CID Force Headquarters. Young lady, you have to come with us to the station to answer some questions with the police. Well, sir, what have I done now? Shut up! Get in the car now! Move! Get the car! Hey. Sir, we got the girl. She's presently in our custody. Good. Did you have any problem with the university authority? Mm, not at all, sir. Very good. So, interrogate her thoroughly to find out if she connived with anyone to do the video coverage. Yes, sir. Just any information that may be useful. Yes, sir. You can go. Are you ready to talk now? I said I didn't read the note. Honestly, I didn't. Why don't you believe me? Shut up! Who the hell would believe you? If you didn't, then who did? Because I want to know who did it and I want to know now. I think Brenda's boyfriend did, sir. Brenda's boyfriend? Yes, sir. Brenda has a boyfriend? Yes, sir. On that day, after the departure of Frank and his colleague, Brenda's boyfriend came in shortly looking for Brenda. I told him that she wasn't around. I even told him that some people came to look for her but she wasn't around. And that they gave me a note to give to her. He collected the note from me. He read it, he gave it back to me and left. He read it? <laughs> What nonsense are you talking about? That Brenda has a boyfriend? Yes, sir, she has. The description according to Peace 
Talis with the same guy who was at Amas Hotel and Benga Studio. So, Brenda's boyfriend is behind all this. Now move fast, Inspector. Close him on him and arrest him in the next 48 hours. Now, go. Yes, sir. What is going on, Frank? Now listen to me, young lady. Don't let us get rough with you. This is beyond what you think. We have orders from the top. Now tell us the name and the room number of this your boyfriend. But why are you doing this to doing me? Doing what? Now listen to me and listen really good. I ask you for the very last time. I won't repeat myself again. What is the name and the room number of this your campus boyfriend? I want it now! Talk to, I ask you, what is... Talk to me! His name is Harry. He stays in Lugas or room four. That's good. Already after us. Hi. How did they get to know? Huh? This is dark too early. Man, it means I have to be on the run, man. I have to be on the alert 24 hours. Hurry. We have to do something fast. Very fast before those people close in on us. You know what? I'm gonna give you one of those tapes. Alright? Just just have that one of it. In case of any uncertainty. Come on, Harry. What was that thing you're talking about here? You will succeed. Alright? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Yes, James. Yes, Sir Excellency. We have finally found a mysterious video man. And who is he? His name is Harry. Brenda's boyfriend in the university. Brenda's what? Boyfriend. Brenda's what? Brenda's boyfriend in the university. Brenda has a boyfriend? Yes, Your Excellency. James. Brenda has a university boyfriend? <laughs> well, well, well. Brenda has a university boyfriend. Okay. I'm listening. It was a boy that already not written to Brenda. And his description conforms with that of the hotel receptionist and that of Benga, the film editor. So, where is the boy on the team? He's at large, but he won't last out there. My mate stormed the university to search for him to no avail, sir. Your man did what? Went into the university to search for him. James. You are using the police? Yes, yes, yes. You are using the police? This is a scandalous affair! And if it is not properly handled, you kill all of us from office! Oh, James, common sense, James! Common sense should tell you, you never use the police, you use the dogs! 
always used to talk. Oh, get out of my office again with that boy. 48 hours, James! 48 hours! Yes, James. Yes, Your Excellency. We have finally found the mysterious video man. And who is he? His name is Harry. Brenda's boyfriend in the university. Brenda's what? Boyfriend. Brenda's what? Brenda's boyfriend in the university. Brenda has a boyfriend? Yes, Your Excellency. James. Brenda has a university boyfriend? <laughs> well, well, well. Brenda has a university boyfriend? Okay. I'm listening. It was a boy that I read the note submitted to Brenda. And his description conforms with that of the hotel receptionist and that of Benga, the film editor. So. Where is the boy on the team? He's at large, but he won't last out there. My mate stormed the university to search for him to no avail, sir. Your man did what? Went into the university to search for him. James. You are using the police? Yes, yes, sir. You are using the police? This is a scandalous affair! And if it is not properly handled, to kill all of us from office. Oh, James, common sense, James. Common sense should tell you, you never use the police. You use the dogs. Always use the dogs. Oh, get out of my office again with that boy. 48 hours, James. 48 hours. a precarious situation. The tape must be recovered and the boy dead in 48 hours. You must find him wherever he may be. Search everywhere for him. Even if it means Rosaki, the blue skies, the mountain tops, inside the caves and at the bottom of the deep blue sea. Frank, you must find him. You know, you must find him. Find him. And for easy identification, Brenda shall give you copies of the boy's picture. To answer such. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. The tape must be recovered and the boy dead for eight hours. This is the governor's order. Now go!
Oh, Dieu, attends, viens, attends, viens, attends, viens, attends, viens, attends, viens, attends, viens, Nobody has ever seen this man in this country. I said I don't know who he is. Who are you? <laughs> man, shango this man. Look at the picture. Have you seen him before? I said I don't know who he is. I've not seen him before. Maybe you think we're joking here, huh? No, I don't know. God. God. Yeah, yes, I know him. I know him. He just left here now. He just. Oh, left. you've seen him before. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Move away. are deadly. They could kill you just like that, you know. And they had a gun. How the hell did you get hooked up with those punks? It's a long story, Shorty. It's a, it's a very long story to narrate, man. Harry, I need some kind of cult or something. I mean, those guys look to me like monsters from some other planet. What the hell are you asking me? What business of yours is it anyway? I'm sorry about that. But you've got to be on alert. Those monstrous punks are up to something. Watch it. Watch it, my man. For me, is gathering momentum. Those guys are all over the place, man. I'm telling you, I miss them now, really. This is serious. You mean they're still here? I said they're all over the place. Damn! Listen, you know what? The, the, the other tape, the other tape is in the ceiling. I just wanted to just go there and get that tape. Hold on to it. Anything can happen. This fight is taking a different dimension. What are you talking about, Harry? I mean, anything can happen. Can't you see the police and those thugs are desperately after me? Man, anything can happen. This is serious. Listen, I want you to do this for me. I want you to take the tea to the first lady. You never can tell, just in case. Come on, Harry. What are you talking about here? You know it won't get to that extent. You see, there's no harm in taking precautions, GM. That's all I'm doing. I'm just freaking scared, man. I'm scared. I'm sure that bingo of a man is in this thing. He put me to this shit. I just know it. I know it. Are you sure? Of course now. How else? How else? What was he doing in the government house that morning? What else? What was he doing there? And I was told that, that, that the governor's ADC visits him regularly. And that punk has bought himself a new Mercedes Benz. I need no Susia to tell me that that guy's in this shit, man. And I'm gonna fix him. <laughs> you know what, man? I'll, I'll see you, man. I gotta do some stuff. All right. So we are doing our best. Your best, James, is not good enough. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is not good enough. I'm sure you'd rather watch me walk straight into my failure. Sir, I, I suggest we summon Sergeant Osita, the First Lady's orderly, to tell us anything he knows about this. I have a strong conviction that Harry may want to get in touch with the First Lady, and if he has, 
I think uh, Osita might have an idea. So. You think this will work? Yes, sir. I strongly feel so. Uh, that is if the, the, he has had any contact with First Lady already. And how do you propose that we will make Osita cooperate? So Osita is not a problem. The money conscious Osita is ever willing to do anything for money as long as he's, he's well paid. Sita. If he has any useful information for you, go ahead and pay him. And then also pay those good for nothing thugs and, 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 and operatives. Even though they're not doing anything for me right now, pay them. Okay, sir. Thursday this week at noon, the boy will be handing over the videotape to Her Excellency at the Grand. Your Excellency, sir, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't interrupt any crucial meeting. No, you're not. Her Excellency has asked me to inform you that she's set now. Tell her I'll be out in a minute. Thank you, Excellency. Oh, Harry. Harry. Just give me one reason why did you double cross me? I trusted you like a brother binger! I trusted you! Harry. I paid your ass well, bro! Harry, Harry, please, please. Don't, don't shoot me. Please, please forgive me. Forgive you. Forgive you! Forgive me for what? When I'm on the road 24 hours! Ah! The government is on my ass! They want me dead! And you said I should forgive you. You buy yourself a brand new Mercedes Benz. Why not? Shit! Harry! Please! Don't shoot me! Harry! Look! The, the, the keys to the car! Take the car! And everything! Do you think what I want? No, Some stupid car key! I think my life is in danger and you're giving me a fucking car! Uh, huh? Please, 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 don't, please, it, it was a walk of the devil, please, please, hurry, my, my, my family, my kids, please. I'm gonna take the devil out of you. No, Harry, Harry, I, I, I swear I'm gonna take it out of you. Harry, please. Your family will know your father died on his own. No, no, Harry, don't, don't do, don't do, no. Good afternoon, young lady. Yes, and how are you? Sorry. I'm Inspector Adams, and this is my colleague. <laughs> You're late, sir. You're late. You shot him and left. He shot him? He shot him, sir. And he's lying in down there, dead. <laughs> now, can you describe this killer to us? How does he look like? Uh, he's tall and um, slim. He's a uh, dog. He was wearing a frownish face, so I can't even describe his face. Same guy. <laughs> now, did you by any chance hear anything about their conversation? Um, I didn't really hear much, but I heard the man telling my boss that uh, he double-crossed him, and now the government wants him dead by all means, and he's on the run. And then he shot him. Young lady, you must cooperate with us in order to arrest the killer of your boss. 
You understand? You have to come with us to the station to answer some few more questions. And I make a written statement as a witness. You understand? <laughs> so let's see the cops. He's coming. He's in the studio. James, you mean the boy who that's the video film editor who gave us information is dead? Yes, yes, Alessi. This morning. Poor boy. Hmm? Sir, the interesting thing about it is that the film editor was murdered by the same boy who has your video tape. Oh, oh, oh. You mean we are not only now dealing with a blackmailer, but a murderer? Now we know we are dealing with a dangerous criminal. Somehow, he got to know that Benga betrayed him, so he went into his uh, studio and shot him dead. James, are you just going to sit there and, and watch this boy come to kill me or what? It looks like you are, you are downright incompetent for this job. I understand your feelings, sir. Uh, I assure you that as he meets with the first lady tomorrow to hand over the tape, we shall close in on him. James, this is your last chance. Get that boy for me tomorrow, kill him, and return that tape. Because if you don't, from there, just go look for another job. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, 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 sir. Get out. Today is a day I come face to face with my destiny. And my heart beats faster even as I draw close to my destiny. Jim, you're more than a friend to me. Even upon death, I can rely on you. Please, just... Just reach the second tape to the first lady in case... In case anything happens to me. Come on, Harry. Come on, you will be fine. I mean, you will succeed and return here. Okay? I wish I can accompany you. No. No. We can't afford for that to happen now. You just stay, okay? Of what use is it gonna be if both of us are knocked down? Who will deliver the tape? You stay, all right? You're more than a brother to me. Okay, all right. Okay, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Boys, 
this is your very last chance. And let me remind you once again that if you fail in this assignment, you will be killed. You know already that my job is on the line. And so I wanted to get into that room and put a slug in his head and get me those tapes. You must be careful not to raise alarm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if the worst comes to us, do whatever you must do to get those tapes, if that's the only way. Yes, sir. Be careful. Now move. Yes, sir. Move! Who is it? Room service. What do you want? Your lunch is ready, sir. I'm not hungry. Take it back. But the food has never been prepared. You still have to pay for it, sir. All right, I'm, I'm coming. Just hold on. I'll have it anyway. Dead or alive? Dead. The tapes. Just one? We got just one. We ransacked his bag and we ran the room, but got nothing. God damn it, this is not enough. Where can the second one be? Now he's dead. Nancy. Yes, yes, Nancy. I think you have to go to his room to find out what is happening. Because I can't imagine why he should keep me waiting for this long. Something might have gone wrong somewhere, Your Excellency. Or maybe he hasn't even checked in because I can't imagine he'll keep you waiting for this long. <sighs> Worse is that the phone extension in his room is not going through. We would have called him at least. Let me check on him, Your Excellency. Better, Nancy. Better. And be fast about it. You know, we still have a long day ahead of us. Yes, Your Excellency. <laughs>
What happened? Did you see him? He's dead, Your Excellency. What? I met him dead in a pool of blood in the bathtub, stabbed with a knife in the back. Jesus! Jesus Christ! Please hold on, Your Excellency. Let me make sure that the coast is clear before we leave, okay? It's all right. Continue like this, what do you want me to do? It's okay. Honestly. Honestly. I will never let the killer of Harry to go scot free. Never. I must finish what I couldn't finish. Even if it costs me my life. It's okay. It's okay. Jim. Jim. Jim, don't tell me it's true. Don't tell me it's true. What else do you expect? And tell me, what else do you expect? God. God! Harry! Harry, why? No, 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 no. God! Nancy! Yes, Your Excellency. I can't believe this. You should, Your Excellency. That's the truth. God! You mean? My very own Oddly has been the one leaking my secrets? Yes, Your Excellency. I've always suspected Osita. But my confirmation came yesterday when I met him at the governor's office. When I walked in, they all stopped talking and were very shocked to see me. Yes. Yes. I just knew it. I knew there was somebody very close to me, who was giving out information. But how was I to know that it was Osita of all people? Osita? How very ungrateful. Your Excellency, if anyone told me that Osita could hurt a fly, I wouldn't have believed it until now. <laughs> But if he thinks, if he thinks he can frustrate me, betray me, and destroy me, and go scot free, then he's got another thinking coming to him. Nancy! Yes, Your Excellency. I want you to find out more. And when you are sure, I want you to take boys and ambush him when he's retiring home. Yes, Your Excellency. I want him ambushed and lynched on his way home tonight. Now, move. I need you to get your boys tonight. I want you to tell Osita on his way home. And I want you to kill him. You mustn't fail. Orders from above. Understood? Sound and clear. Good. Get on it now. Okay. Point. 
at Mr. Commissioner to say the least. It's been almost a week now since the brutal murder of my wife's oddly. And nothing has been found. No suspect. Nobody in detention. What, what is going on? Uh, Your Excellency, investigation is still going on. My men will make arrests immediately. Investigation is concluded. How many years will it take before you bring somebody to book? Hmm? How many years? It will not be long, sir. But this is pretty obvious to me. Did you say obvious, Your Excellency? Yes, it is obvious. A young recruit can unravel this case. It's, it's, it's open and shut. Your Excellency, you might not understand this. You are not aware of a group of power brokers who are blockading our ways and hindering the police. Top on the list is GSP Nancy, the first lady's ADC, who often ordered my men out of investigation areas, such as the first lady's office complex, where the victim was working before he got murdered. Mr. Commissioner, this officer is under your command. Yes, Your Excellency. So what are you waiting for? Issue the warrant for arrest, and I will personally make sure that nobody amongst my people resists you or your men. Well, thank you very much for your genuine call. No, 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 body is above the law. Not even a police officer. Thank you very much for your kind cooperation, sir. See, uh, Nigeria is proud of genuine and honest citizens like you. Thank you very much, sir. Well, thank you. Well, I better take my leave. Oh, please, go to work. Please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Have you bugged all the phones of the First Lady now? No, sir. Well, we just started working on it, sir. We should be through in two days. We're just trying to exercise caution to avoid suspicion, sir. Good. I believe that the holder of the second tape must be frantically making efforts to contact the first lady now. And if he does that, he'll be walking into a very deadly trap by the time we finish bugging the line, sir. Good. Now just get to work. Please, try and round this thing up, please. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Order from Abu. I don't understand. You, you will understand when we get to the headquarters. Please, I can make a call. Permission not granted. Now tell me, Mr. Commissioner, why did you arrest and detain my ADC without my knowledge? Uh, please, can I not. Except you give me enough reasons why you should arrest and detain my ADC without my knowledge. What do you have against my ADC that you should arrest and detain her? Your Excellency, your ADC has been making things difficult for the police by refusing us into uh, your office complex and staff. And is that enough reason why you should arrest her and detain her? Well, this is an order from the government house, madam. I see. An order from the government house. I can see that my husband is also involved in this. Now tell me, Mr. Commissioner, do you take your orders from the government house or from police authorities? Answer me, Mr. Commissioner. Well, your ADC will be released, madam. No. I want my ADC to be released right now as I speak to you. I said your ADC will be released today. I said I want my ADC released now. Didn't you hear me? It's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Hello. Uh, Musa, release the first lady's ADC immediately. <laughs> Mr. 
Chris, why did you order the CP to arrest my ADC? Answer me, Chris. Why did you order for the arrest and detention of my ADC? Won't you answer me? Answer me! Answer me, Chris. Why are you so interested in the murder case of my elderly? How many arrests did you order for when your favorite bodyguard was brutally murdered in front of the royal hotels? None! Talk to me, Chris. Talk to me. Talk to me, Chris. Talk to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, Your Excellency. I can't wait to lay my hands on that girl. That girl who has completely taken over my husband from me. Nancy, can you imagine that my husband has not seen my nudity since I returned to this country? That's unbelievable, Your Excellency. But it is true. It is true. I even hear that the rumors making the rounds of the government houses that he plans to marry her. What? This is horrible and unfair. How can he be so heartless? That is why... Nancy... I am desperate to find that girl out fast and eliminate her before this issue gets out of hand. She has become a nuisance and a big stumbling block in your way. And she must be eliminated out of the way and fast too. Hello. Hold on a second. You have a call, Your Excellency. Yeah, hello. This is the First Lady on the line. Who are you? Don't bother about my name, madam. I'm a friend to the late Harry. The video man who was supposed to deliver the tape to you. Before he died, he had asked me to reach you with the second copy of the videotape in the event of his death and I am prepared to deliver the tape to you immediately. But I shall conclude with proper delivery arrangements before I'll get back to you. Hello? Hello? Are they working? Uh, yes, yes, let's see. We just conducted a series of tests on the lines and it was perfect. Good. We could pick every statement word for word, including whispers. Good. <sighs> what would that happen if they decide to call her mobile phone? Uh, we'll take a chance. Well, so let's, see. let's take a chance. It'll work. Okay. All right. Good. Thank you, sir. This is the video man's friend. By 6 p.m. this evening, I shall be at the Brasseries, opposite the university campus, to deliver your trip to you. Please, do not pass this information to anyone. It is strictly confidential. Hello, dear friend. How do I identify you? You shall not identify me, madam. I shall identify you and hand over the tip to you. All right. Dear friend, um, next time you call me, please, use my mobile number. I am no longer comfortable with my landlines. Thank you.
Hello? Yes, hello. Please return home. The presence of your husband's men has sabotaged the plans for now. Please leave the venue and await further instructions. Thank you. This collaborator is ready to deliver the tape to the First Lady. It is now also obvious that they have decided to communicate with their mobile phones, which means that when and where the tape will be delivered Push to the wall. I am also ordering a 72 hour surveillance and shoot at sight order. I want you to shoot at sight any young man or anybody you see with the first lady doing anything that looks like exchange of anything. Yes, yes Your Excellency. Demon, from now on, you, the two of you, will follow the first lady everywhere she goes and i swear to god i will kill you personally if you make her know that she's being followed yes yes Nancy. there's no going back this is the moment of truth I'll get out of here <laughs> Hello. Oh, Mr. Chelly. All right. Just hold it. Hello. Chelly. Brother. Susan just had an accident and is presently being admitted at at a Bay Hospital. I just brought her in. Oh my God, Chelly. Has she? Critical, brother. Very critical. She's actually in a state of coma. Oh, I'm so sorry, Charlie. Um, listen, she will be all right. She will be all right. Just calm down. I, I'll be there and see. In less than an hour, okay? I'll be there. I'll be there, Charlie. I'll be there. All right? Who's the one? That's Charlie. Her wife has suffered uh, severe internal bleeding, which has led to the clotting of blood in her lower abdomen. Jesus. And uh, as a matter of agency, we need to commence our surgical operation immediately. And uh, we need a sum of 300,000 to commence. Uh, see, doctor, money is not the problem. See, just start the operation, I shall arrange for the money immediately. Well, my good friend, as a matter of policy, we are safe deposit before we commence on any medical attention. So we can violate the policy. Not even when the governor's younger brother is involved.
Charles, I was just on my way to the hospital. How is her condition? She's still in a state of coma. And the doctor said I should go and bring some money so that we can... Um... No problem with that. I have taken care of that. Let's go to the hospital. Ah! No, no! What? Charles! You've done your worst. But Chris, you should be ashamed of yourself for killing your own brother. Chris, tell me, how do you feel now? How do you feel now that you've killed your only brother? Fulfilled, eh? You feel fulfilled? But let me tell you something, Chris. The innocent blood of your only brother, Charles, will haunt you all the days of your life. Murderer. Talk to me. Talk to me, you man of evil. Excellency, Frank said he didn't know you had a brother. He's lying. Everyone knew I had a brother. Sir, of what benefit is the death of Charles to him? I believe it's an act of ignorance. The bastard maliciously killed my brother. He must pay. Your Excellency, I, I beg of you to forgive him. Already he has suffered so much brutality in the hands of the police at the criminal headquarters. James, See? do you want me to believe that you conspired with that bastard to kill my only brother? I'm sorry, Your Excellency. I want him dead tonight. And get out. Get out, James. Listen, um... I will be going to Enugu in the next few hours. So if you can make it, come over to Enugu and meet me at the Zadie's Hotel so that we can talk. Madam, there is no need for us to meet face to face. I have saved both of us the trouble. As I speak to you now, the videotape is being dispatched to you via courier service. The videotape should reach you in the next 24 hours or even less. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so grateful. Um, how do I reward you? I was to compensate your friend with the $5,000. So how do I get that across to you? Madam, I need no personal reward for myself. But I shall give you my late friend's account number so you can deposit the money into his account for his family's use. That is when you have received your parcel. Have a nice day. Goodbye. You are going to kill me. Will you shut up? The governor ordered you to kill me. I said shut up. Look, one more word from you and I will blow up your goddamn skull. Why do you want to kill me? All right, uh, you can go now. We have changed our mind. Run away before we change our mind. Go now before we change our mind. I said run before we change our mind. Thank you. 
demigod. Does he think we are slaves or animals because we merely carry out criminal activities for him? How can he give Frank just like that? He himself gave us the blind order and Frank merely carried out the order. Why then was he paying back in such a cruel way? Hmm. It means this job itself has no guarantee. <laughs> it's about time I quit. Yes. Your Excellency, it's a week today since your one and only brother was assassinated. How are you feeling now? Oh, terribly sad. Um, and I'm going to remain like this for a long time. Charles, my brother, was my best friend and one of my greatest assets. Charles was assassinated by a man believed to be your bodyguard. Can you confirm this, sir? That is not true. My bodyguard has no reason, or any of my security details, I have no reason to kill my brother. Charles was killed by an unknown assassin who is still roaming the streets free. Um, but the newspapers are saying that the police have already executed the murder suspect, who is believed to be your bodyguard. What is your reaction to that, Your Excellency? Well, all my people are complete, no bodyguard of mine or security personnel of mine is dead or missing it goes to show you that it is not sure what the papers are saying what you people are saying your excellency do you have an idea of who may have murdered your brother and why i don't have anybody in, in mind anybody in particular but uh, i suspect that it is the work the handiwork of my political opponent and why would I do that, Your Excellency? It's okay. The governor has a busy day ahead of him. Good day. Thank you, Your Excellency. It's a world just because you have to do. Someone else has to die for you. This is Brenda, Dr. Funcho's daughter. So it is you after all. It is you. After all we've done for your family. Well, girl, if you think you snatched my husband away from me, just because you're beautiful and youthful, then you've got to come into you. Your Excellency, Demon is here to see you. What does he want from me this time? He said it's confidential. All right, let him in. Yes, Your Excellency. Mm -hmm. 
Good morning, Your Excellency. What do you want from me? Your Excellency, I am sure you are aware I've stopped working for your husband and also retired from Telgrave and gangsterism after your husband ordered for the execution of my late colleague. My heart burns. So what do you want? Your Excellency, I am here to show you remorse. Actually, I have some vital information, top secret, that might be useful to you. So what information do you have? Your Excellency, I am sure you are unaware that your husband has already concluded plans to bring in, in his long-time mistress Brenda, as the new first lady into the government house in the next two weeks. In fact, in the latest development, they just have their secret marriage three weeks ago. In our wonders of doubt, here are the pictures of the marriage ceremony for your confirmation. Of course, no wanted people were invited. No, let in. Apart from very few of us who have roles to play as his confident. It's a very small gathering, less than ten people in all. I can't believe this. I don't believe this. <laughs> Top secrets for now, your excellency. Until two weeks later. When plans will be on the way to finally disgrace you out from the office. In fact, as I speak with you, your husband and the new incoming first lady are busy with each other at the usual rendezvous, Executive Room 1, Ama Hotels, Victoria Island. Your Excellency, that is the message. Thank you. to me. Where do you think you are going? Let your feet to Excellent. You can't go in. Why? Order from Abu. Step aside! No! Mopo, step aside! I said no! Stop! Stay there! Stop there! Don't move! Shh! 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 This is true. Okay. Chris. Okay, what are you doing? Here? Chris, so it is true? It is true? It is true that you married this rotten bitch and plan to install her as your first lady? I, I didn't marry her. I, I just went to see her parents. Okay, what are you doing? This is a war, Chris. Give me the gun, you can. Time up, Your Excellency. And you, First Lady. The game is up for good. Oh! Oh! Oh, you, you get. Oh!
It's no fun living in this way. So much bloodshed every day. Are you happy living in this way? Are you scared of what you say? Is this what we came to do? Instead of loving, we're killing each other just because you have to rule. Everybody has to die for you. Do you ever remember what goes up must come down? Cause on easy lies the head, lies the head that wears the crown. I feel my heart beat so fast, I hear the sound ringing in my head. I'm so scared how long I last before somebody shoots me dead. It's a crazy world we live in, so much hurt and so much hate. Oh, Jack, come stop these evil before we get to late. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a war living in this place It's a national disgrace It's a shame living in this place When my people got no face Tell me why this has to be So much hatred, revenge, a deal Just because you have to rule Someone else has to die for you One crime to another It goes and on